All right, so this is the setup. We've got one Raspberry Pi running uh, with a Raspberry Pi camera, another Raspberry Pi running with a Raspberry Pi camera, and then this is the scene, some small, weird figurine type objects at different distances from each camera, um, and a book in behind to show the, the resolution based on the typefaces, and then a book a little bit further away. Um, then this Raspberry Pi is also hooked up to a large screen through HDMI. Um, and so on that large screen now, we're going to open up Midori, the, uh, the internet browser. And then we're going to navigate into Midori to this website, which is api.site2site.co slash module slash cat dash multicam slash client slash index.html. Then we'll make this uh, full screen. And once we've opened this, you'll see that in the Space Brew uh, administration panel, we've got now just one um, module, which is the cat client, which is what's running in the browser on Midori. So now we're going to open up uh, Terminal, and we will start the camera number one here. As soon as we start that, camera pops up here in Space Brew. Then we'll start camera number two by running node app.js again. And now camera two pops up. And then finally we'll start the controller by running node controller.js on our server. Um, and then the controller comes up and because this has previously been wired up, it's all, um, the wiring is saved. Um, so capture camera zero is uh, going, to ca uh, going to camera one, capture camera one is going to camera two, capture camera two is going back to camera one, and then capture camera three is going back, uh, is going to camera two. And so for each, um, each five seconds, we've got, um, we've got a frame rate of 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. It'll toggle between each camera. Um, so then if we go back to Midori uh, here and we click start, it should trigger, you can see each of the, uh, the controller now has received from the client start. Um, it's sending to a camera one to capture and you can see up here camera one has started to capture. If we go back to the screen, in a moment we should start to see some images coming through. And now we've got the first image coming through. Uh, and there we go. Now it's switching to camera two. Back to camera one. Back to camera two. Back to camera one. And you can see it's toggling the cameras at roughly five second frame rate. And if we had more captions on the bottom of the screen, they would be triggered with each of the different camera views.